we'll get back to this conversion problem after we study Kanizara reaction. Okay. Okay. Your options are option number one. These are the four options and uh, you have to identify the correct option. So this is pretty simple, straightforward. Based upon the discussion we had before, it will not be difficult for you to identify the correct option. E is a cakewalk. You just have to break this bond and we have done million times before. We have practiced the problem of ozonolysis. You just have to break this. E will be a compound having two C double bond. Oh, like this. Fine, this is E. Now you are carrying out, adding KOH. This is very similar to the problem we have done uh, before. This is the case of intramolecular aldol condensation. You have two carbonyl group present. So you have to, you have to abstract a base will abstract a hydrogen from alpha position of one carbonyl group. And from there you have to attack on the other carbonyl group. Now because of symmetry, let's consider that base abstracted hydrogen from here. So this carbon gains a negative charge this carbon is going to attack the other carbonyl group fine in that case this charge will vanish this pi bond will break and a charge will appear here so look you have a five member ring now and outside that ring you have this aldehyde group to write it properly you have a five member ring with o minus and this is the carbon having o minus and the carbon adjacent to this has this aldehyde group this is how it looks like. When you protonate it, it becomes aldol. This is the cyclic aldol. Now you then you condense this because in all the options, you have this formation of this alkene, except for option number D. And option number D is not something you are going to get because you cannot have two carboxylic acid group out of this particular reaction by any way. So option number D is ruled out. So A, B, C has alkene. So they have done condensation also. Although they haven't asked for heat, they haven't mentioned that heat is given. But the idea is because they have shown alkene, so they have done the condensation. And so you have to do the condensation. So to get the answer, you have to condense in such a way that now there are two hydrogen. You can abstract any one of them. If you abstract this hydrogen, alkene will appear at this position. If you abstract this hydrogen, alkene will appear at this position. So that alkene has to be in conjugation with C double bond O, as we had the discussion a moment back. So you will abstract this hydrogen. When you abstract this hydrogen, then water goes away and alkene is developed at this position. So this alkene is in conjugation with this C double bond O and they can have a resonance. So choose the correct option. Correct option seems to be A. Because in B, this alkene is in not conjugation with C double bond O because there is a sp3 hybridized carbon here. And in C option, you have acid. Now acid you won't get. I mean, there is no oxidizing agent. The aldehyde group will remain as the aldehyde group. It will not be converted into carboxylic acid. So C option is wrong. B option is wrong because it is the spy bond is not in conjugation with C double bond O. A is the correct option. This was the from IDJ 2007 paper. Pretty easy, straightforward, simple. So uh, for time being, this aldol condensation reaction is done. We'll come to the conversion problem that we did not do, only we wrote. So uh, let's study the next kind of reaction. The next reaction is also as interesting and as important as aldol condensation. This reaction is called as Canizaro reaction. Now, what happens in this reaction? Suppose I have benzaldehyde. Fine. I add 
potassium hydroxide to this in dilute form what will happen I didn't add anything else I just added dilute KOH and you have benzaldehyde now you think of as to what perhaps can happen you have a base base abstracts proton then you have to search for a acidic hydrogen that can be abstracted acidic hydrogen is the hydrogen which is attached to more electronegative atom acidic hydrogen is the hydrogen which when removed whatever is left out is stable as we were doing in the last reaction of aldol condensation we used to abstract a hydrogen from this position because when this goes away a negative charge is developed on this carbon and this can do resonance with c double bond o so this becomes a acidic hydrogen because when this is removed off whatever remains that is stable the conjugate base the anion that was developed was stable because of resonance that increases the acidity of this hydrogen now similarly you have to look for acidic hydrogen acidic hydrogen is the one which is directly attached to electronegative atom for example you have alcohol then a base can come and very easily abstract this hydrogen because whatever is left out is stable because negative charge is on more electronegative atom this o minus is stable now here this was abstracted the c minus was stable because of resonance and after resonance the charge went to oxygen so whatever left is left out if that is stable then the hydrogen is acidic similarly here you have to find a acidic hydrogen then only the reaction will occur now let me draw the structure of this whole the molecule benzaldehyde is this now this carbon has a hydrogen let's see if this is acidic when you remove this off what you get is a negative charge on this carbon now this negative charge by no way is stable a because there is it is not on a electronegative atom and b because there is no resonance i mean this negative charge is not involved in resonance because it is on the atom which itself is making pi bond if it is if if this negative charge is at alpha position then this is in resonance if the negative charge is on the carbon itself which is making the pi bond then that is not in resonance on the contrary there will be a repulsion between this negative charge and the lone pair of oxygen so this is very unstable so this is not a acidic hydrogen and also the abstraction of abstraction of this hydrogen will be difficult because this hydrogen is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon when we look at acetone this hydrogen is abstracted is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon sp2 hybridized carbon makes strong bond so abstraction of hydrogen is more difficult in this case so that reason adds to why this hydrogen is not acidic hydrogen so this hydrogen is not going anywhere no one can abstract this hydrogen there are more hydrogen on all the carbon atom of the phenyl ring like this like this fine let's see if they are acidic if you abstract this hydrogen then a negative charge will develop on this carbon now this negative charge is on carbon so it is not stable it is not involved in resonance because it is not in conjugation with the pi bond it is on the atom which itself is making pi bond so there are six orbitals perpendicular to the plane of the board and this negative charge is in the orbital in the plane of the board so other orbitals all are perpendicular to the plane of the board and this orbital is in the plane of the board so there will be no resonance in this case this kind of situation we have studied before when we studied resonance and we know very well we have dealt with this kind of situation that this negative charge is not involved in resonance turns out that there is no acidic hydrogen in benzaldehyde and all other hydrogen is similar to this one so no hydrogen would be abstracted by any base so there will be nothing happening